Welcome to my channel, Sunny Singapore, guys. And today we are organizing under my kitchen sink. And the step one for doing this is to measure under your kitchen sink. Now this is just to put the um, any kind of an underlay that you would like to put in. My kitchen sink space is quite restricted because I have a water filter on the left, as you can see, and I also have an undermount kitchen sink. So my kitchen sink is undermount and it occupies quite a bit of the space on top. I picked up this liner from Daiso. It's only two bucks, but it's really nice. It's silver. It has uh, some kind of an anti-slip. It can be used as an under, uh, underlayer for the picnic mats or your carpets and things. But I like to use this under my kitchen sink because it's a sort of waterproof and uh, I like the idea of using this under my kitchen sink. I've always been using this for quite some time so I picked up the same thing. Now I'm just cutting this to size. I've measured under the sink and we're just gonna cut this to size. And um, it's pretty simple to cut. You can just use a pair of uh, kitchen scissors and cut this. It's not difficult. And I'm just folding it the other way around because it's kind of curled a little bit, just to get a little straight. And uh, later on, I'm going to, I plan to put a little bit of that blue tack on the corners to just make it stick and not move. Uh, you can use any kind of little uh, double-sided tape pieces and things like that or even plaster scene. Uh, you could use that just so that your liner doesn't move uh, in your cabinet. Now, once you have uh, straightened the liner, I'm sorry that if you're not able to see the whole thing because uh, my camera did not capture that correctly, but here is this is how it looks like. And then your step three is to choose your organizers. And I have basically used what I had with me. The only two items I picked up are the shoe boxes on the left hand side, which are the clear shoe boxes from Daiso. Uh, they cost only two bucks and the rest of the um, magazine organizers and uh, the white box on top is from Ikea and also the risers from Ikea and the Lazy Susan is from Amazon, which I had lying around and I used those things. So now this basket, I had it lying around from Daiso. I picked up many years back. I don't know if they have them still. And I'm putting in my dehumidifiers in this. Now I have two types of de dehumidifiers I always use. The charcoal ones, the black ones are usually for the shoe rack. We have a culture of not wearing our shoes in Asia here, usually in Singapore. So I use these in my shoe rack and I put those in there. I'm organizing my toilet cleaner, bleach and my multi-purpose cleaner in one of the uh, magazine organizers. Now I'm putting the ones which I use, um, you know, regularly in there. And I'm also putting in these refills for my dish and hand soap on the, in these pump bottles. So that anytime I need to refill, I can just grab them and uh, just refill my little bottles, which I have on my sink. Now, if you would like to see what I have on my sink, do comment below and I will could do a short uh, video on how I organize my sink on top. Now I have these Burillo sponges that I picked up from Amazon long time back and I have a few, quite a few of them still left and I'm organizing it in this little box which I had lying around. I think this was also bought from Daiso ages ago. I don't know if, if they still sell it, but you could use anything like this. I like to have a filing system kind of a thing. It makes it look neat and easy to pull out whenever you need it. So here are the shoe boxes that I was talking about. I just love these, they're so functional. And I'm putting all the magic sponges. These are melamine sponges or something. And these two are actually my dish uh, washing, washing soap sponges. And this is the eco-friendly. Yeah, I'm showing you one of the sponges that I got free recently, one of the cleaners. And I'm gonna add this in here. It's very similar to the ones, the, the other magic sponges, which I get from Daiso. They're pretty good and you can use them to clean your sinks and things like that. 
but please don't use them if you have a black sink or um, things like that do test it so certain things you can't use it I don't use it on my quartz uh, they're great on uh, tennis shoes and white shoes things like that they're great on walls white sinks things like that they're really really good so I like to have them around just for cleaning my switches and stuff also and these are some extra sponges that I'm putting here uh, for replacing in case I need it later so I'm just trying to get it organized in a way that I can fit in as much as possible I also have some scotch sponges uh, for counter wipes and these are some uh, reusable sponge cloths and things which I have so I'm just going to sort all of this out and uh, yeah so I've just got these uh, shoe boxes sorted out this is how it looks I'm just showing you the side view all the sponges some disposable cleaning cloths and things now the second shoe box I've got all the uh, wet wipes all the um, you know extra mop microfiber things and some other counter cleaners and those uh, wet wipe cleaners and things like that which I have extra ones so I'm putting all of those in here I've also got my these metal scrubs which came in like a really big pack for a deal I think I picked And in this, uh, I actually reused this container. This used to be a wet wipe uh, container. Um, I forget the brand, but it's um, it's a wet wipe container. So I put all my gloves in that, and I put the bleach, a toilet cleaning bleach, and also a eco-friendly sanitizer and a cream cleaner and my multi-purpose cleaner, which I made myself. These two in the front. So I put the, you know, day-to-day -day cleaners right in front in this little container thing that I got from Ikea. So guys, if you're enjoying the video so far, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you're new, do, don't forget to subscribe. Now in my Lazy Susan here, you can see I've got some Bio Home cleaners, which is a brand available in Singapore, which is actually environmentally friendly. I quite like that brand. I also have some Sif. Uh, it used to be called Jif a long time ago, I think. I'm not so sure. But these Sif cleaners are really, really nice too. And I really enjoy using them. So I pick up some of those uh, on and off. And this is my Bio Home Kitchen Cleaner, which I absolutely can't do without. And uh, I also like to keep a can of Barkeeper's Friend, which I like to grab and clean the back of my pots and pans. So these are just uh, things that I use quite frequently. And I like to put them in the Lazy Susan so it's easy to just rotate and pick things up uh, you know when you open your cabinet so uh, another brand I really like in Singapore which is available is Magic Clean so their cleaners are quite good I use them in the toilets and also in the kitchen sometimes so these are some of my favorite cleaners I'm trying to stick to one brand so that I don't keep on buying so many different things so I'm slowly slowly trying to downsize my cleaning and also I've started making my own cleaners sometimes so I do use some vinegar and things like that. Now here we're gonna do the inside of the kitchen cabinet. I'm using this, um, I'm just trying to show you actually my cast, uh, cast iron cleaner. And here I'm uh, having the, these, um, you know, metal things that I stuck inside the door from Daiso. These are just for $2. And I hung them up and here I have put in some stick on uh, hooks and I've uh, just organized my day-to-day -day usage stuff uh, my scrapers my uh, my squeegees and things like that my bag ties in a little basket there these are all, all available at Daiso you can check them out and uh, every item cost about two bucks at Daiso in Singapore so all this stuff I just put it here so it's very quick grab and use and put it back and the inside of the cabinet gets utilized and you don't need to waste so much space I did use uh, 3M hooks for hanging this thing and uh, this is actually a soap net 
and I like to put my scrapers in that so I just uh, put my straw cleaning brush also together with the back ties so it's easy to just grab and clean uh, the metal straws that I use sometimes so far I'm just using metal straws uh, do let me know if you're into glass straws and how are you managing that this is how the sink area looks uh, so this is a complete look how it looks right at the back i have put the cleaners in that magazine organizer which are duplicates and new ones so those can be moved forward once the front ones uh, get used so this is the complete look i put the burillo on top of the filter there uh, which is just utilizing a small space and right at the bottom of that riser on the right i have put all the uh, dehumidifier things I don't know if they're called dehumidifiers or what for moisture trapping and uh, this is how the, the kitchen sink under under the kitchen sink I've uh, utilized the absolute maximum space uh, you will have your own style of doing but I hope you got some ideas if you really uh, enjoyed it or got some ideas please don't forget to give me a like if you're new to my channel please subscribe I look forward to seeing you guys again take care and stay safe bye bye